Welcome to Jamaica News. On live with Esmer Sustin, here's what we have in the news. Son dead, mother nursing injuries after brazen attack in St. Mary. Seven detained in St. Elizabeth police operation and I steps up single adult family unit removal flights to Jamaica and other countries. Details coming up right after this break. A St. Mary mother is not only nursing gunshot wounds but is also mourning the loss of her son after a shooting incident in Anato Bay Friday afternoon. Dead is 23-year-old electrician Marvin Ricky Gay Wilson of an Enfield address. Reports are that Wilson and his mother along with other family members were on a veranda in Itaboreal Dry River Bridge around 3.40 p.m. when a lone mask gunman entered from the back of the house and opened fire. Wilson ran into the house but was chased by the gunman who shot him multiple times. The gunman escaped on foot. It was discovered that Wilson's mother was also shot in the left foot Five of her toes shut off. She was taken to the Anata Bay Hospital for treatment while Wilson was pronounced dead. The St. Mary Criminal Investigation Bureau is investigating. In the meantime, Acting Superintendent for the Parish, Anthony Wallace, told the news that Anata Bay has become a hotspot for crime. The police will maintain a strong presence in the area to reassure residents of the commitment to maintain peace and security, Wallace said. The St. Elizabeth Police seized two firearms and took seven people into custody during an operation on Friday. The police also issued 167 traffic tickets and 11 motor vehicles were seized during the operation. Superintendent Coleridge Minot, commanding officer, for the St. Elizabeth Police has promised to maintain vigilance to ensure the safety of the parish. The United States Immigration and Customs Enforcement Agency says it continues to facilitate removal flights to, of single adults and family units to Caribbean countries including Jamaica. This is according to a report carried by the Caribbean Media Corporation, ICE, a component agency of the U.S. Department of Homeland Security, working in close coordination across the department included with U.S. Customs and Border Protection. Said the single adults and family units removal flights were made between October 28 and November 1. They included removal flights to Brazil, Central America, Colombia, Cuba, Dominican Republic, Ecuador, Haiti, Jamaica, and Mexico. If a non-citizen arrives and has no legal basis to remain in the United States, they are processed and removed quickly, consistent with U.S. law, I said. Since the presidential proclamation and Interim final rule went into effect on June 5th. Through the end of September, ICE said DHS has removed or returned more than 160,000 individuals to more than 145 countries, not including repatriations of people encountered at airports or the northern border. I said its enforcement and removal operations has operated more than 495 international repatriation flights in the period, while DHS has tripled the percentage of southwest border encounters processed for expedited removal. Overall, I said, preliminary data shows that DHS completed over 700,000 removals and returns in fiscal year 2024 more than any prior fiscal year since 2010. That included more removals to countries other than Mexico than in any prior year, even ICE said. It said DHS has also reduced the time it takes to remove indi individuals who do not establish a legal basis to remain in the United States by more than half from its historical average. In fiscal year 2023, I said 
ERO conducted 142,580 removals and 62,545 Title 42 expulsions to more than 170 countries.